Hello again, YouTube. This is my review of Arma's 2019 Granite 3S BLX, this time running on 3S. It's the same truck as the one from my 2S review, and as you might be able to see, it's a bit roughed up. Running this truck on 3S is a very different experience, one that deserves its own review. If you'd like more detailed information on the truck specs and what's included in the box when you purchase this vehicle, check out my 2S review of this truck in the link. Those of you who'd like to know how this truck fares on 3S, listen on. Driving this truck on 3S is much more demanding of the driver. First of all, it's possible to flip the truck on just about any surface by merely accelerating too fast. Second, after accelerating the truck to full speed, it's almost always necessary to brake or the truck will roll over sideways. Finally, driving in a straight line at full speed is next to impossible. Other than the last issue, there isn't really anything wrong. You're simply driving a vehicle that is very powerful and must adjust your driving style if you intend to keep it on all fours. The 3S batteries definitely up the granite's performance factor. They take things to the next level and turn the granite into what some may refer to as a stunt truck. The first thing to expect from such a truck is an increased mid-air backflip capability. On 3S, the granite can easily pull off backflips from a modest ramp. It doesn't even need to accelerate much. All it needs is a good yank on the throttle when closing in on a jump. Wheelies are also much easier to perform. On 2S, they were limited to happening on particularly grippy patches of grass. On 3S, they'll happen just about anywhere, sometimes unintentionally. The truck's top speed also feels much, much faster. So fast that drivers who don't have access to a private airstrip will be at a loss for a paved surface long enough to accommodate such over-the-top velocity. On 2S, the Granite earned 5 out of 5 in this category. On 3S, damage does occur, mainly as a result of trying new stunts. The first thing that I tore was the back of the body. There's a raised area along the back of the truck, almost like the box of a pickup truck. It kept getting hit as I was learning how to backflip. Despite duct tape reinforcement, I ripped it open. The other casualty is the bottom of my IC5 connector. I run my 3S battery through several adapters, and after a nasty nose first landing, the bottom of the connector crumbled. All in all, the truck is still very durable. It just isn't quite as invincible as the more modest 2S driving made it appear. Driving the Granite on 3S further expands its already impressive repertoire. Attempting to reach the truck's full speed on pavement is a necessary thrill. Once one is familiar with accelerating more gradually, impressive speeds can be reached. At very high speeds, the truck can do little in the manner of turning correctly, so it must be slowed down considerably before attempting to corner. The stock tires also have poor grip on pavement which further exacerbates the situation. Driving on sand or loose dirt on 3S power is just like 2S, but to a greater degree. The rooster tails get larger, the slides get longer, the dirt gets thrown further, and unfortunately, the truck gets dirtier. Still, it's an absolute blast to set the granite loose on a soft surface and to watch it stamp its tires all over the place. As mentioned in my 2S review, everything on the granite is easy to access, but it takes a bit of practice to get used to. The truck's parts are grouped into modules, and all parts inside a module can be taken out as one unit. For example, by removing the electronics module, you're removing the receiver, ESC, 
and servo. To extract the electronics module, five screws must be loosened. Six if you want the wires on the ESC to come out with it. Once the screws are out, you can take the whole module out of the truck and have as much room as you want to wrench parts out of it. The 3S is definitely a setting more appropriate for experienced drivers. Mistakes can be punishing, but the satisfaction of landing a backflip, of seeing the truck whiz by at high speed, or of pulling off a giant wheelie while kicking up a bunch of dirt, makes the additional learning curve worth it. This truck is insane fun on 3S, pulls off all the tricks you would expect from a basher vehicle, and makes it look easy.